when it came to working with Gucci Mane. Mm. Did you think that Gucci was going to go out as one of the biggest trap gods ever born? Nah, man, cause I didn't look at none. I, I didn't look at it as trap. Mm. We was just doing music that we vibe to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we listen to Damn Shane. We listen to Three Sit Mafia. We listen to Ghetto Mafia. Like, yeah. Mr. Cool. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? I'm with you. So, you know, that's, especially from Decatur. We, you know, people from Decatur and the West Side. Exactly. Like, they was the West Side Diablos. Yeah, come on. You know, so when you, <laughs> it's like gumbo. It's exactly. Like, you, it's gumbo. So it's like, man, it's like, you just mixing all that, all that stuff together, man, and, and making it for for your city. Like yep. I never thought bigger than Atlanta. I didn't think I was gonna blow up outside of Atlanta. I was cool just being the shit in Atlanta. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and then it happened. You know what I'm saying. I blew up, and, and then I didn't. It was so overwhelming. I ain't have time to to prepare for for moments mm. and things. You know what I'm saying. I, I didn't have time to even set up. Yeah, it was like I gotta. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And if anybody know me, like Gucci, the Gucci man situation is like, Gucci knew how fast I made beats. Yeah. So Gucci would come and he would be like, hey, bro, I got, I got $15,000 right now. Mm -hmm. Can you do me a mixtape? And I say, <laughs> I said, all right, let's go. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And he'll come, he'll come to my house, and we'll get it, we'll, we'll get it. If he ain't tired, yeah. now this Gucci man, it was, this Gucci man is on the, the, the you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, he, Gucci. Yeah, this, this, that Gucci yeah. man. Big goo up. Yeah, right. You <laughs> feel me? But he love, he love coming, because he know I'm going to be up. Exactly. And Gucci my partner. Yeah. Like, he'll call me, be like, Shout out, you going to the K tonight? You doing it? <laughs> yeah. I'ma meet up with you. Like yeah. Gucci picked me up for my birthday and took me out for my birthday. And I and I never seen that from, from nobody that I know. Mm. Like this nigga remember my birthday and picked me up when he bought the yellow uh Corvette. My God. I think with the yellow one or the red one. Yeah. I think with the yellow one. But he when he bought the, the Corvette, yeah. He came to my house, just popped up, surprised. Mm. Yeah. Happy birthday, so I brought me a gift. Yeah. Bought me this big old hundred dollar bottle of Remy. Yeah. A card of new posts. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like yeah, 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 yeah. Cause that was like if you if you come to my house, man, everybody like, you know, you gotta bring me a big old bottle of Remy <laughs> and enough new posts. Yeah, yeah. So I ain't gotta go to the store. Exactly. You know so you can work. It was, it was really a yeah. joke at first, <laughs> and then it started becoming like this thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, Gucci would come, and um, he we'll do the mixtape. I make the beats like right then and there. Then I have like I have Red Nose, my play bro, my brother. Yeah, I have Red Nose or Dice, DJ mm. Dice, King Dice. Yeah, I had him uh record with just switch out shifts and yeah. pay everybody do that. And then Gucci will come right back. Let's do another. Mm. He like shout. I just made sixty thousand off that shit. I just. Woo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And his shows started getting bigger, so he was like, he started getting bigger chicks. Yeah. So he'd be over there. He'd just pop up now. Yeah. It'd be like 6 o'clock in the morning, and he know we done been out. <laughs> you feel me? I'm like, man, we just got to the house. Ain't nobody recording. Come on. And he's like, please, y'all, we got to, please. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and somebody record him. i like, i pay you an extra. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. i give you, I give you 1500 just record him, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to make the beat. We good. You feel me? When you think about work ethic, though, man, because it sounds like Gucci's work ethic was bar none, too, man. Oh, yeah, Gucci. I, I like working with Gucci because he like to have fun. Mm. Like, he ain't serious. Like, it's like, like, I could tell him, I could tell him, like, hey, you slurred. Yeah. He don't get mad. He be yeah. all right, Sauter. Let me do it again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then he'll be like, what I sound like, Sauter? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like, you good, you good. Yeah. You know, and I stop him. Like, if he if he mess up, I just stop the whole shit. Yeah. Do it again. Boom. Yeah. And I and you know what I mean? So he respect me with that. And he he a fast worker. Yeah. It's like by the time I even saw him over the beat, mm. I don't even get the song over the beat for real, for real. Yeah. Cause soon I he like, 
I'm ready to go, Shout, Let's go, Shout. Because he called me Shout. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm ready to go, Shout. I got already yeah. that. Let's go. Yeah. So most of the time, I ain't even broke the beat down, the song. Yeah. Mode. I just like. Go ahead on. Yeah, record. And I record them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I break stuff down later. You know what I'm saying? 